So the next question is coming from CE underscore XE, CE, XE, I don't know how you would pronounce that. Did anyone inspire you to become natural? And by the way, I love your hair, it looks beautiful and healthy. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yes, so many people. I was so obsessed with looking at natural hair videos and all of the beautiful black women who were sporting their natural hair. Juju B, Nia Imani, um, Natural 85, of course. And that's not even, that's just a very small list. I really do go to town on natural hair videos. I used to, back in college, I used to tell people that I was too tired to go out and hang out because all I wanted to do was go home, pour me a glass of hot chocolate, and just like sit back and watch all the natural hair like videos. <laughs> Celebrities like Janelle Monet, Jill Scott, um, all those people were really inspirational, but also people who were like in my day-to-day -day life. So what really inspired me to go natural was knowing that there were people who I could talk to, that I could reach out to, um, who had natural hair, who were going to school with me. So my friend Hannah, the quirk queen, who I already mentioned in this video, um, and then all of my other beautiful friends who had natural hair. Um, my friend Isabel, who comments a lot on this on these videos, she has a gorgeous fro that is like super inspirational. And then a ton of my other friends who all like went natural in college and it was just like so inspirational to me and it kept me going myself. And so I really have to give the credit honestly for well, well and a whim to all of those beautiful <laughs> women who allowed me to envision myself with natural hair. This question is from Ricky Delexis. Did you notice a change in your hair texture after puberty? Um, I did not and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I didn't start growing my hair out until three years ago and three years ago I had already gone through puberty. <laughs> I was shaving my hair straight off my head all the way up until college. I didn't really even have the chance to experience or notice what my hair was like before or I started growing my hair out. So I don't really, I can't really answer that question. But I have heard of puberty changing people's um, hair in, in various aspects. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video about that as well after I do some research. The next question is from Black Bean underscore CMS Plus good black bean black bean underscore cms who also has a youtube channel that you all should check out he has dope hair um he's also a dope artist and just like he's lit all around so go ahead and check him out i'll put his channel in the description below um and also here's a picture of him wow his hair is amazing right so go check him out but his question is how much do you spend a month on hair products <laughs> Um, so actually, I don't really have a monthly budget for like hair products. I'm not balling out here, okay? I'm not going into like the Walmarts, okay? The Targets, the Sally's, okay? The Ulta's. I'm not going in there and just like throwing money, <laughs> throwing money at the cash register, purchasing all of the natural hair products. I just can't. I have other things in my life that I also like. Monthly, I'm not kicking out money for like natural hair products. I am trying new things like here and there, but I make sure that I budget for that like every so often. Um, so I don't have like a monthly number. I don't really go to the store and like look for products and then be like, hmm, let me try that and then like pick it up and like go and purchase it. Like that's not really how I make purchasing decisions. I make sure that I do research first and then like I'll like budget on the side, save up for it, and then I go purchase whatever product that is. But I would say in general, 20 to $30, okay, um, for products that are gonna last me for a while. So the next question is from underscore J Brown 3. He says, what is your zodiac sign and would I recommend daily moisture to your hair, to natural hair? Um, yes. When I was first starting out growing my hair, I would dunk my hair in the sink if I was brushing or if I was taking a shower, I would make sure that just after I wet my hair with lukewarm water, I put in coconut oil or some sort of product to capture and seal that water in my hair. My zodiac sign, I'm an Aquarius. My birthday is January 26th. Although I've heard that there's like this new, I don't know, they like shifted the dates or something and I'm no longer an Aquarius, which just doesn't feel right. You can't just do that. Like you can't just all of a sudden make me not an Aquarius. Like I share a, I share a birthday with Ellen DeGeneres, okay? I am not prepared to give that up. The next question is from original underscore Xander. Hey Will, I've been trying to braid my own hair recently and it's really hard. I know. <laughs> um, he says, do you have any suggestions for the best method? Also, do you have any good daily moisturizers for hair? One more thing, do you have any advice for someone who is about to go to college? Um, I love your videos. 
Thank you, I appreciate that. Suggestions for braiding your hair. Um, I think that sometimes we get so caught up in the technicality of our hands and how they're supposed to be working on our hair. But what I think is the most important in learning how to braid is that you don't give up. I completely sucked at braiding, okay? But I practiced and it took me a whole year. But I was practicing consistently like every two weeks for a whole year. And just one day I feel like my fingers just like work and I was so happy and I snapchatted about it and I told all my friends <laughs> but really it's just practicing so I don't know keep at it the second question was good daily moisturizers for your hair water is the most important moisturizer that is moisture so daily moisturizer I would say water but seal that in with an oil a cream um, some sort of product of your of your choice and the third question is um, do you have any advice for someone who is about to go to college stay focused College is a really fun time and um, right after high school, at age 18 to like 24, you're really presented with a lot of responsibility. You're sort of like doing things on your own now. What you do with your time is up to you. Okay, so you need to stay focused. You need to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with friends who keep you on track, people who are not distracting you. You need to remember that you're still there for a reason, right? You gotta get that degree, okay? Because somebody somewhere, if it's not you, is paying a lot of money for you to go to college. Um, and you don't want to, one, like let yourself down with the goals that you had entering college, and two, let those people down who are supporting you. Um, but this is not to say that you should, um, if you are having a really hard time in college, that you you shouldn't be aware of those feelings um, and that you shouldn't like reach out to somebody. So two pieces of advice is stay focused and two, if you need help, reach out. Like don't play games with the resources that are out there that um, are available to you um, for help. So if you have literally any concerns about your experience as you're in college, make sure you reach out to somebody, a counselor, uh, maybe you need a tutor, uh, maybe you're having like issues with friends in college. like. Reach out to people, talk to people, make sure you are completely in tune with your goals in college and how well you're doing. Okay, so the next question is from I underscore am underscore Mariah underscore O4. <laughs> I love that name. Um, they say, when did you start growing your hair? I started growing my hair out about three years ago, back in college, sophomore year. And the last question of today's video is from underscore J. Pulliam, what plans do you have for this time next year? I have general goals for next year. They are a bit of a surprise, so I don't really want to discuss them with you all right now, okay? I'm trying to keep it secret, okay? Um, but I would say that next year I will have moved. Maybe to another state. Let's, let's just keep an eye out, okay? I'm gonna take you all on that journey with me so you won't be out of the loop. Okay, so this brings us finally, Jesus Christ, my mouth is dry, y'all. This brings us to the end of another episode of Will on a Whim. Thank you all for watching, I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And if you liked it so much that you wanna stick around and maybe see some more, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's right there. If you are not following me on Instagram, go ahead and click that link in the description that will take you directly to the Instagram, okay? www.instagram.com slash willnotwilly. Um, and go ahead and follow me over there. It's pretty lit. I'll see all of you back here real soon. But until then, bye.